very good evening to everyone today is a very important topic that is fracture the definition of fracture a fracture is a break or disruption in the continuity of bone or it is a disruption of the normal architecture of the bone etiological factors includes traumatic injuries fractures are caused by direct blows crushing forces sudden twisting motions and even extreme muscle contractions some metabolic bone diseases like osteoporosis also leads to fracture the predisposing factors include neoplasms protein malnutrition high risk recreation and employment related activities like for example rock climbing and victims of domestic violence classification of fracture fractures are classified according to type communication or non communication with external environment anatomic location of the fracture on the involved bone this is a diagrammatic presentation of the type of fractures from a to l which includes avulsion comminuted displaced green stick fractures which is mostly seen in children impacted interarticular longitudinal oblique pathologic spiral stress and transverse communication or non communication with external environment it includes open fractures and closed fractures in maxillofacial fractures there can be fracture of either of the jaw maybe maxilla or mandible associated with other bone like for example nasal fractures zygomatic fractures frontal fractures sometimes there will be multiple fractures that is panfacial fractures so the classification of mandibular fractures based on anatomic location includes dentoalveolar segment symphysis and parasymphysis region body region angle region ramus region coronoid fracture and condylar fracture like for example if there is angle fracture then there is a classification of horizontally favorable fracture or horizontally unfavorable fracture vertically favorable fracture or vertically unfavorable fracture maxillary fractures classified by rene lefort in 1901 he classified it as suprazygomatic fractures or subzygomatic fractures and gave three lines lefort 1 lefort 2 and lefort 3 this is diagrammatic presentation of all the three lines or you can say lefort 1 fracture lefort 2 fracture and lefort 3 fracture the clinical manifestations of fracture pain loss of function deformity shortening crepitus swelling and discoloration muscle spasm and tenderness diagnostic studies for fracture first a thorough case history to be taken for the patient for fracture and then the clinical examination and then the x-ray examination x-ray examination determines location and extent of the fracture in maxillo mandibular fractures the x-rays mostly used are opg ct scan with 3d reconstruction and for soft tissue injuries magnetic resonance imaging lab investigations includes complete blood count and other investigations management or treatment of fracture it includes three phases phase 1 emergency care phase 2 definitive care and phase 3 rehabilitation primary assessment includes a b c d e airway breathing circulation disability and neurological examination and exposure how to estimate the amount of blood loss depends on checking the pulse rate blood pressure pulse pressure capillary blanch test respiratory rate urine output mental status of the patient and fluid replacement neurological examination neurological examination is done by glasgow comma scale it assesses eye opening best motor response and verbal response the comma score minimum is 3 and maximum is 15 after adding these three eye opening best motor response and verbal response this is glasgow comma scale secondary assessment includes head and skull spinal cord chest injuries genito urinary tract abdominal extremities and fractures and maxillofacial injuries phase 1 emergency care begins at the site of the accident it consists of splint them where they lie phase 2 definitive care it includes anatomic realignment of bone fragments reduction also fixation 
and immobilization to maintain realignment, restoration of normal or near normal function of the injured part. For any fracture, like general fracture or maxillomandibular fracture, this is the protocol reduction, fixation, immobilization, or restoration or rehabilitation. Fracture reduction. Reduction of a fracture can be carried out by following methods. Close reduction, open reduction, and continuous traction. Close reduction includes non-surgical, manual realignment of bone fragments to their previous anatomic position. Traction and counter traction are manually applied to the bone fragments, usually performed under local or general anesthesia. After reduction, traction, casting, external fixation, splints, or orthosis immobilize the injured part to maintain alignment until healing occurs. In maxillomandibular uh, fractures, for close reduction, we need to give maxillomandibular fixation, MMF or intermaxillary fixation. It can be done with different wirings like Gilmer's wiring, residence wiring, EV eyelid. But the most common is arch bars. Arch bars are of three types, German silver, winter jelenko, the most common is Eric's arch bar, by which we can do MMF or IMF. Open reduction. Open reduction is the correction of bone alignment through a surgical incision. Surgical incision can be intraoral, like for example, anterior vestibular incision or degloving incision for opening of uh, a parasymphysis or a symphysis region. And for angle, there can be intraoral incision also or extraoral incision also, like for example, submandibular incision, residence incision. It usually includes internal fixation of the fracture with the use of wires, screws, pins, plates, intramedullary rods or nails. This technique allows anatomic reduction and the creation of highly stable constructs. Indication for open reduction, fracture that cannot be reduced except by operation, fracture that are inherently unstable and prone to displacement after reduction, fracture that unite poorly and slowly, pathological fracture, multiple fractures, and fractures in patient who present severe nursing difficulty. Types of fixation can be screws, like for example, lag screws, wires, coercional wires, plates and screws, micro plates, mini plates, intramedullary nail, suitable for long bones. This is diagrammatic presentation for tension bands and plates. Plates can also be like DCP and EDCP, dynamic compression plates and eccentric dynamic compression plates. Traction, the purpose is to prevent or reduce muscle spasm, immobilize a joint or part of the body, reduce a fracture or dislocation, treat a pathologic condition. The two most common types of traction are skin traction, skeletal traction. Fracture immobilization. It is to prevent displacement or angulation of the fracture, to prevent movement that might interfere with the union and to relieve pain. Splints are used for immobilizing fractures, either temporary during transportation or for definitive treatment. Complications of fractures can be systemic or local. Local, injury to major vessels, injury to muscles and tendons, injury to joints, injury to viscera or infection. Systemic includes hypovolemic shock, fat embolism, fracture fever, crush syndrome, venous thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, ARDS. Late complications. These are very, very important. Delayed union, malunion, non-union, cross-union. Others include avascular necrosis, shortening, Walkman's, ischemic contracture, myositis ossificans, joint step instability and stiffness. These are some of the uh, references.